Good morning, 604. How are we? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy that you guys are present. Thank you for showing up on time. Thank you for taking pride of your education and being very proactive with uh, your education and showing up. I appreciate you all. Hope you all had a nice weekend. I hope that the first period class went well for you all. Um, today, folks, we're going to be working with box and whisker plots. So I do need a screenshot taker and I do need a person to read the learning target page. Who would like to do that today? Can I get screenshots, please? Sure, put your name in the chat. Um, I do want to tell you that um, as you, when you take your screenshots today, okay, you're going to screenshot the picture that Leanna puts in for the box and whisker plots, okay? Because it's very hard to make a box and whisker plot on the Google Doc. So you're going to screenshot just the box and whisker and drag it on your Google Doc. All right, anyone have any other questions about that? So you're gonna be screenshotting the Google Doc only for the box and whisker plot. So Boris, let me just write down who's here. You're in 10, 12, 10, okay? So again, the policy states that if your face is not shown, you will be removed from either myself or Mr. R. So if we do not see your face the entire class, you will. this is your first warning and this is your last warning, you simply are gonna be placed in the weight room. End of discussion. Are we clear? So right now, I just said it twice. I'm gonna give you the next 10 seconds to show your face. If I do not see your face behind the camera, I am putting you in the weight room as per the school policy for safety. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Mr. Hollins, you have five seconds to show your face. You have four seconds. Three, two, one. I'm going to now put you in the weight room. All right, so let's get started. Leanna is going to take screenshots. Who's reading the learning target? Abigail. Okay, today's words are quartile and interquartile range, okay? All right, just so that you're aware. Here we go. All right, so let's get this show on the road. Let me go open up Cami. All right, who else is coming in? Maria, okay. So go ahead, Abigail. Learning target. I can create, construct, and interpret a box and a whisker plot from the data presented. Important vocabulary words. A box and a whisker plot is a display that shows how the values in a data set are distributed or spread out. To make a box and whisker plot, first find these five values, then create the plot. One, maximum, the greatest or highest value. Two, minimum, the least or lowest value. Three, lower quartile. Quartile, the median of the lower half of the data. Upper quartile, the median of the upper half of the data line. Interquartile. Interquartile range. Interquartile range, IQR, is the difference of the upper quarter quart, quartile mm -hmm. line um, quartile and the lower quartile Is that what you did? okay awesome and then we have the median that we all know about the median right we all know that the median is the middle number so today when we do box and whisker plots what's going to happen is we're going to have two of them the minimum and the maximum are going to represent the whiskers which are the dots and then the quartiles, the lower, upper, and the median, are going to represent the line that makes up the box plot. So, can you please read Create the Box and Whisker Plot? Steps to create a box and whisker plot. Number one, order the data from least to greatest. 
Number two, find the minimum. Number three, find the maximum. Number four, find the lower quartile. Quartile. The lower quartile. Quartile. And number five, find the upper quartile. Number six, find the median. Number seven, connect to median. Connect the median to make a box. And number eight, label the box and whisker plot. Okay, so I want to show you what we're going to do on the next page. So let's look at this. Looking at this box and whisker plot that you all have in front of you, what is the minimum, the lowest value here in blue? 55. So that's your quartile. See how there's a dot there? I mean, that's your minimum. That's your lowest number. What is the upper, the highest number, the maximum? 95. 95. So the minimum and the maximum make up the dots. Now the lower quartile, the upper court, the middle quartile called the median, and the upper quartile represent the box. Do you see that? I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do this. <clears throat> so let's look at check for understanding. Uh, Abigail, read number A, letter A. A display that shows how the value in a data set it are distributed or spread it out is called box and whistle. Good. So write this on your paper. If you have the line underneath, I would delete the line. It looks neater. Box and whisker plot. What is the least or smallest number called? And if you need help, go right here to page one. The lowest value called. Is it minimum or maximum? Kayla, lowest value, minimum or maximum? Maximum. Oh, lowest value. Oh, um, minimum. Good. Which means that that maximum is the highest, right? Minimum. This would be the. I would get the lines out of your paper on the Google Doc, so it's a lot neater. We could just undo the highlighting. What is the median of the lower half called? Let's look at it. The lower half of the data is called the. Somebody, Abigail, Leanna, Kalani, David, somebody. Lower quartile. Thank you. Stay off mute, you're gonna finish up. Lower quartile, which is known as Q1. What is the median? Oh, what is the middle number called? I gave you the answer, sorry. The middle number is called mm -hmm. what? which is Q2, which means the last word, Brandon, the upper half is called the? Upper quartile. Keyword, upper, lower, has it in it, right? I'm gonna show you how we're gonna construct this now. Are we ready? All right, Leanne is gonna post this. And again, when we do the box and whisker graphs, you can copy, you, can, you could copy in the image. All right. Thank you. Let me just write somebody just arrived. You got it, Leanna? Okay. All right, let's move on now. Now you got to pay attention. All right. Miss Sanchez, I'm going to ask for you to do problem one. You're going to read it and walk us through, and I'll help you. Go. Please. All right. I go close. I can't read. It's a small. Um, nine, it says exam score is 91, 65, 88, 99, 63, 75, 94, 84, 193, and 78. Order from least to greatest. So the first number is going to be 63. Then it's going to be 65. Well, then I want to do it in red. You'll see why. 63, 65. Then it's going to be um, 75. Okay. Then it's going to be 78. Okay. Then 84. Mm hmm Then 88. Mm hmm Then 91. Then 93. 94. 99. And then 100. Everyone see that? Anyone have any questions? Okay, Leanna. So what is the smallest number here? The smallest number is 63. Can you read number three? 
find the maximum, the greatest. The greatest is 100. Okay, now let's go find the median. We know how to do number six, right? Find the median, that's easy, right? Uh-huh, the middle number of the data set. I'm gonna use light blue. So, 90, so 91, uh, 63 lines up with 100, 65 lines up with 99, 75 lines up with 94, 80, 78 lines up with 93, 84 lines up with 91. So your median is 88. And that is also called your Q2. So this is your Q2, which is, you said, 88. Now, Leanna and the rest of you folks, I want to find the lower quartile. So I know that the median is 88, yes? You follow me? So the, the lower quartile is to the left of that number, the left of the median. Okay? The left of the median is the lower quartile. So we're going to pair them up again. We're finding the median three times. Quartiles are the median three times, okay? Three times. So 63 is paired with 84. 65 is paired up with 78. So it's 75. Okay, so this is actually referred to as your Q1, which is quartile one, which is 75. Is everyone following me so far? Yes, okay. So obviously the upper quartile is gonna to be to the right. Think upper to the right, lower to the left. Think like positive right, negative left, all right? So let's do the same exact protocol that we just did. So let's do it. We're not gonna do 88, we're gonna to go to the next number, 91. Pairs up with 193, pairs up with 99. So the upper quartile is 94. And we're gonna call that Q3, because a quarter has four parts, right? There are four sections in a quarter that make up a whole. We all know that, no? Yes, no, maybe so. Somebody talk to me, wake up a little bit. Now, now we're going to construct or make the box plot. So again, when I do this, you're just gonna screenshot this in your, in your Google Doc. So I'm gonna use a big red line. I have to figure out what is my number scale gonna look like? Well, how I'm gonna determine that is based on the minimum and the maximum. The minimum was 63, the maximum was 100. What makes sense? How should I count here on this number line? By what number? Tens, maybe? 60, right? 70. This is what you're screenshotting in when I'm done. Everything else you type in. Now, I'm going to teach you something. The minimum and the maximum are going to be the whiskers. So these are going to have a closed dot. That's what the whiskers are. So we're going to go plot that first. So I'm going to go to 63. Well, I know that in between 60 and 70, there were 10 lines. So if this is 65, 61, 62, 63, 64. It's gonna be right over here. This is about 63. Everyone see how I got 63? Yes, no, maybe so? Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna label this with the, the, the thing. I'm gonna call it max, minimum. Now I'm gonna go label the maximum, which is 100. Right, so I'm gonna go with purple. Hopefully I could do it in purple. I'm gonna go 100, I'm gonna go right above the number, I'm gonna make a closed dot. They're closed dots. They're not open, maximum. Everyone follow that so far? Type yes in the chat if you're with me. Type yes in the chat if you're with me. Okay, now pay attention. Something I wanna point out is that there's gonna be three lines, line one, is going to be your lower quartile. Line two represents your median. And the third line is going to represent your upper quartile. So again, the minimum and the maximum make up the dots. The lower quartile, upper quartile, and the median are going to represent the box. So we're going to go graph the three numbers. All we're doing is graphing. So I'm going to go graph this in blue. So lower quartile is 75. Well, this is 75. I'm going to make a line. 94. This is 94. It's going to be about over here. And then the median is going to be 88. If this is 85, 
six, seven, this is about 88, about over here. So those are my boxes, Mr. R. Ian. So now I'm going to go take over here, I'm going to connect my blue lines I just created, which represent the lower quartile Q1, the median Q2 of 88, and the upper quartile Q3 of 94. It's gonna look something like this. Check this out, folks. Look at my screen. I'm color coding it for you. Then I'm going to add these lines in here because they're part of the data. So now I'm going to label. So I am going to do an arrow. So this number here represents my Q1, which is my lower quartile. Okay, this one represents my Q2, which is the median that we all know how to find because we did that last week. And then this little puppy over here, which is 94, are gonna represent my Q3. So you can screenshot this exact graph, this exact plot goes in your notes. So Leanna's gonna screenshot that. Tell us when she has that. I'm done. You have it so everyone can see it? Yes, I'm about to post it now. Okay, post that up. And we're gonna move on in a second. But before we go, I want everyone to understand that the median and the maximum are the dots. The Q1, which is the lower quartile, the median, the Q2, and the upper quartile, Q3, represent the box. Do we all understand that? Yes. Pretty straightforward, right? Nothing out of the ordinary. Right? I'm not making up anything. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but hold on. Anyone have any questions so far? Type yes in the chat if you understand this whole procedure right now. Yes, in the chat if you understand. And again, if you do not, it's okay. Okay, here we go. Problem two, Mr. R, do you wanna read it? Are you yes, here? I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were here. Mr. R collected data from the number of hours he watched television on Sunday through Thursday night for a period of three weeks. The data are shown in the table below. Week one, week two, week three, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It says order the data from the least to greatest. Can I have somebody help me with this? Anyone? Um, let's go with um, somebody I haven't heard from. Boris. Boris, help me out. We have the number one how many times, sir? I'm going to ask you to unmute. Three. Okay, so one, three times. Awesome. Keep going. Um, you have um, two on um, three times. You have three. I counted four. Make sure you got that right. Nope, he's missing one. I just said four. Four. Four, four for two on um, three. Four for three. Okay. Um, four for I mean, three. There's four. There's three is four. Four is three. Th four, four. There's three. I got you. Uh huh. And five. How many? One. Awesome. Thank you. Boy. Now, to find a minimum, what is the minimum? Kevin? Kevin, what is the minimum? The minimum is one. Awesome. What's the maximum, Kevin? The maximum is five. Now, real quick, when we're finding the lower quartile and upper quartile, what's the easiest method? We have to find which one. We're going to find the lower or the upper or the medium. Which one is the next one we should find? Um, the median. Yeah, right, because that's the only one we know. So we're going to partner, the, partner these up. We have one and five, right? Keep it going. One and 
two. No, one and one four, and right? Five. You're partnering them up from side to side, right? One and now again, four, right? Keep it going. Two and. Two and four. There you go. Keep going. Two and three. Yep. Keep going. Two and three. Keep going. Two and three. And what number are you left with in the middle? Three. Three. So the median, it would be three, which is a uh, quarter two between the whisker plot, which we'll show you later. Now the next one is pretty easy, right? We're gonna go. Are we gonna go for the lower or the upper? The lower. Right. So that means which way are we going? We starting from three, and which are we going? We going left or right? Um. Left. Yeah. Good. So we're gonna start with these. Now we're gonna partner up one and two for this section, and then one and two. Keep going. One and two. And what number is left in the middle there? Two. Awesome. So your lower quarter quartile is going to be two. You see what we're doing now? Awesome. Now let's try the next one. We have to find the upper quartile, which is not the left, but the right. Right. So let's go do this. We have three and five. Three and five. Three and four. Yep. Three and four. And what number is left in the middle? Four. Four. So your upper quartile is what? Four. Four. Yep. Awesome. Sorry, Mr. I was just writing a few notes as you did oh. that, sir. Don't worry about it. We already, yeah. Okay. Good, Mr. Now, now this is the tricky part, right? We actually got to start doing the whiskers and then the box. Now the box is going to be your median, your quarter tile, your lower quarter tile, and your upper quarter tile, right? Those are the boxes. which we must kind of all label. <clears throat> your, your minimum and maximum are just going to be very simple dots, okay? When you think about minimum and maximum, we're going to think about dots. So on number one, we're going to draw a dot, right? On the number five, we're going to draw another dot. Now the first point, we're going to plot in quarter, tile one, which would be considered the lower quarter tile, it's going to be two. So we're going to draw a line in two. Above it. We're also going to draw another line in the medium, which is the medium, excuse me, which is three, right? And then another line on four. Now it's just as simple as making sure that it makes sense to us. We have to draw these lines, make sure it, it lines up, and make sure that the minimum is there and the maximum is there. That being said, we actually got a label them right though. So this is quarter one, quarter tile one, quarter tile two, for the median and quarter tile three. Without it being labeled, you will still they'll still ask you questions about it. But if you label it, they'll understand it right away. Are there any questions for anyone at this point in the chat if you are having trouble with this? You're gonna have to do this on your own later on. So I wanna make sure that you guys are understanding this. If you understand this and you understood every component that we just did, me and Kevin and other people that were here, I would want you guys to uh, write yes in the chat. I got Keelani, I got Caleb, Adam, Abigail, Boris, Yerlin, Brandon, Leanna, Maria. I'm missing a couple more. I'm not, I know there's a lot more people in here. I got Kevin. Can Leanna take a screenshot, Mr. R? Natalie, David. Let's go, guys. Wake up. Leanna, you take a screenshot? Yes. Awesome. Any questions for anybody based on this? No? Awesome. Okay, Mr. R. We could probably do problem three, and then we could do four and five in our breakout room, sir. Okay. okay. So I'm going to continue taking the attendance. Yeah. All right, who's doing this one? We're not doing it. This is all student now. Should we have Kalani do it, Mr. R? Whoever you prefer, Ms. Canella. Kalani Roman, this is for you to do the entire problem. The highest temperature for two weeks is shown below. Use the data below to complete a box and whisper clock. Highest temperature, 60, 73, 72, 66, 64, 64, 66, 
61, 70, 78, 78, 74, 69, 61, 69, 62. Order the data from these two graders. So first is 60, then 61, then 62, then 64, and another 64, then 66 and 66, then 69 and 69, then 70, then 72, 73, 74, and then double 78. 72, 73, 74, double 78, and then what? And then that's it. Okay. Continue. So now the minimum is 60, the maximum is 78, and we got to find the median. So 60 goes with 78, 61 goes with 78, 62 goes with 74, 64 goes with 73, 64 goes with 72, 66 goes with 70, 66 goes with 69, so the median is 69. There's Oh, yes. So now this is incorrect. Thank you, Abigail. Kalani? Kalani? Yeah. I think we have to redo it. Okay, so 60, double 61, 62, double 64, 66. Double sixty nine. Double sixty six. Double sixty nine. And then seventy, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, double seventy eight. Okay, so answer the questions again, please, just to make sure we're correct. The minimum is sixty. The maximum is 78. Now we got to find the median. So 60 goes with 78. 61 goes with 78. 61 goes with 74. 62 goes with 73. 64 goes with 72. 64 goes with 70. 66 goes with 69. Now we have to add those up, right? Mm -hmm. So we add it up. And that's right. that's one hundred and thirty five, and then got to divide it by two, which is sixty seven point five. Okay. So now lower quartile, upper quartile. How do we do that? So we got to do sixty goes with sixty six. Sixty one goes with sixty four. 61 goes with 64, so the lower quotes high you is, is 62. Now the upper quotes high you, you got to do 69 with 78, 70 with 78, 72 with 74, and then the upper quartile is 73. Let me ask you a question. When you find the lower and upper quartiles, what are you actually finding? The little dot, no. Yeah. Well, we're finding the, what's another word for middle number? Median. So we're finding the median three times, right? The quartiles and median, you're finding the median three times, right? Yeah. Okay, continue on, just double checking. So now we have to mark it down on the line plot. So the minimum is 60, so we put a dot there. Open the or closed? Closed. The maximum is 78, so you put a closed circle. There's 75, 76, 70, 76, 77, 78. Now we have to put a line at 62 and the line at 73 and also a line at 67.5. 67.5 is in between here. Are we done? 
now we have to like line up the box and then drag the like the dots with the line to the box. We label everything. So what would the Q1 be? What number is Q1? Okay, Leanna, you got that? You guys are gonna put this box plot in your Google Doc. You're gonna screenshot the box plot only and drag it in your doc. Questions, Leanna? I got it. I got it. Mr. R? Yes? Breakout room for four and five. I think we have enough time. It's only 1041. It doesn't take that long. As long as we're done by like 50. You can, do you want to do it? I'll be there. Tomorrow. All right. So we're going to go into breakout rooms, do four and five. If you don't get through both, it's okay, as long as you get through one. All right? It is 1042. We'll probably do it until about 1052. That way you have about 18 minutes to finish up your work. So let's recreate. Who would you like to have, Mr. R? You tell me. Mm -hmm. hmm? You pick. You choose. All right, I'll give you a Miss Roman. How's that? Okay. Where'd she go? I don't see Kalani Roman. She's not here. Um. Her computer died. Oh, okay. So then, Mr. R, how about you take, uh, you want, you want Leanna Sanchez? Doesn't really matter. Okay. I trust on this class a lot more than I do, so. Yeah, and then in my room, I'll just have Abigail. I think they just pay attention better, that's all. Huh? I think that this class pays attention a lot more. Yeah, Abigail, you're gonna be in charge in room two. Everyone get to their rooms. We're all right, cameras need to be on in my room. Emma? So Abigail, I'm gonna ask for you to take screenshots, okay? At the same time, we're doing four and five now. This goes on your dock. All right, I already did the number line for you. Go ahead, Abigail. What do we got to do, Abby? First, I need sharing rights, Miss Canelo. Leanna does. Hold on. She has it. Um, Miss Roman, you are going to go to breakout room with Mr. R. Okay, I'm so sorry. She had sharing rights. I don't know. Okay, so let's do that again. She did have sharing rights. Okay, go ahead, Abigail. First, we have to put everything in from least to greatest. Okay. So first is five. Well, that's so tiny. Okay, these two, okay. Next is 18. Mm-hmm. 20. 25. 35, 38, 40, 48, 60, and 90. What's next? Next, we have to find the minimum which is five. How do I spell minimum? I'm spelling it wrong. M I minimum. Okay, five. And what's the maximum? Abby, maximum? The maximum is 90. Okay, let's go find the median, which is Q2. How do we do that? We have we have to pair them up, which is 5 to 90. 
18 to 60, 20 to 48, 25 to 40, and 27 to 38. So the medium, the median is 35. Okay, we want to do the lower quartile. So the lower quartile is... What do we do? Find the median to the right or the left of 35? To the right. Hmm. Other to the left. left. Good. So let's cross it off. 5N. 5, 27, 18, 25. So it's 20. And then E, we're going to find the upper quartile. The upper quartile is 3890, 4060, so it's 48. Let's see. 1, 2, 1, 2. We're left with 48. Anyone have any questions on how she got that? Now, we have to graph it. How do we do this, Abby? What should we graph first? The minimum. Okay, so five. And we're going to label it min, M-I-N. Okay, and now we're going to graph the... We're going to graph the... We're going to graph the maximum, which is 90. So A is done and B is done. And then the, we have to do the median. Okay, how do we do that? So since it's 35, it's in between 30 and 40. Okay. So, so we have to put a line in between 30 and 40 and that line is 35. Keep going. And then the low, lower quartile is 20, and the upper quartile is 48. So for 48, we have to put it not, not too close to 40 and not in the middle, but it should be close to 50, because it's two numbers away from 50, so it's 48. Ooh, my lines are a little messed up. Hold on. I am going to make the lines a little bit better on that. Something like that, right, Abby? Yeah. Yours might be a little bit better. Okay. Now, I have to now connect. Right? It's supposed to actually be straighter, but you get the idea. Now we have to label Q1, Q2, Q3. So Q1. Q2 and Q3. So Abby's going to take a screenshot. This is problem four. Does anyone have any questions on this? Now's the time to ask. Type yes if you understand problem four for me in the chat. I took a screenshot. Okay. Awesome. Abby, do you have it up? And guys, you can screenshot this in your notes. You're gonna exactly copy the picture and put it right in your notes. Are we good? All right, okay. I, the thing is like, I wanna do more with you, but I also want you to be able to do your independent work. Cause it, you only have 20 minutes and I don't wanna take up that time cause I want you to perfect your notes. So what we'll do, don't worry about problem five, it's okay. What we'll do now is we will go and we will do the independent practice together. You guys are gonna do it, not me. Um, I need problem three and four up. I don't see, I only see problem one and two here. Uh, okay, let's go to your independent practice. I'm not doing it. You're gonna come off and read it. So Kevin, you got the first one. Kevin, what class are you in? 604. Good. Kevin, do you have your independent practice open? Um, I'm not opening it right now. Everybody go get it open. Everybody go get it open. Okay, Kevin, tell me when you're ready. All right, Kevin, 
A display that shows how the values in a data set are distributed or spread out is called, what did we learn about today? Box and whisker, median, upper quartile, or lower quartile? Mm -hmm. That's what we learned today to make? Mm. Or is lower quartile part of something? Lower quartile is part of box and... Yes, good. Excellent. There you go. I knew you knew it. All right. Who's this over here? Let's call on uh, Brandon. Using the box and whisker plot, answer questions three and four. Using the above box and whisker plot, what is the minimum? So to help you guys out, these are the minimums and maximums. So what number is the minimum, sir? On this chart, which number is the minimum? Brandon? What, Brandon? The minimum is 20. The minimum with 20, is there any number above here? Is there anything over here? Is there? No, so can that be true? This is what number for the minimum? This 25 is the minimum, right? This is the same as if there's no dot, we put a dot, same thing here. Does that make sense, Brandon? So you type for number three, you type two, five. Let's look at number four. Uh, Can you repeat that? Pick me out. That was 25 because, actually, Brandon, can you explain it? 25 because there's something. Because 20 has nothing above it. So. so now, Brandon, we want to identify the lower quartile, which is the first line. The first line is on what number? First line is on 40. So type four zero. Caleb, you're gonna do number five, Caleb. Get ready. There's five answers, sir. What are the five, what are the main parts of box and whisker plots? Check check all five that apply. So give me one part of a box and whisker plot, Caleb. Justin Bodo, give me something for a box and whisker plot. Give me one of the components, one of the parts. Um, one of the parts? Mm hmm It's on page one of your Google Doc. Um. Somebody help them out. Minimum. Good. Minimum. What's another part? Maximum. What else? Median. What else? Lower quartile and what upper else? quartile. Good. Is mean and mode part of a box and whisker plot? No. No. So there you have it. David, what is today's learning target, David? Today's learning target is. It's right on your typed up notes. Is it you're creating, constructing box and whisker plots or are we creating line plots? We're creating whisker plots. There you go. And question seven says, how many points do you think you earned out of 15 today? Then you're going to go to your exit ticket. Everyone's turning it in now. I only see Emma, Kevin, and Abigail. So Justin, David, Kayla. Uh, I got a question. Yes. What was the one, the practice problem for for the independent? I couldn't hear I back out. You told me. Okay. Using the above box and whisper plot, identify the lower quad. Quartile. Quartile. Uh, one. Uh -huh. Type the answer as two numbers. This, I would, this is the minimum. Uh -huh. 
You said the first line is at the Q1 or the Q2? The what? I can't hear. The first line is at the Q1 or the Q2? Q1. So what is your answer? What number? 40. There you go. 40. Good job. There you go. Now, your exit ticket. It's going to look something like this. I highly suggest, Mr. Bodo, you pay attention because you're going to have 14 minutes to turn this in. We're in class 604. Using the above box and whisker plot, select the five answers that make this true. David, what is the minimum in this graph? The minimum in this graph is... We're looking for the dots. The dots is 13 and yeah, 13. Okay, 13 is the minimum. What would the maximum be, David? The maximum would be 23.5. Good. Okay, Brandon, pick up. What is Q1? Q1 is 16. Beautiful. Um, Abigail, what is Q2, your median, in this box and whisker plot? Say that again? Yes, what is Q2, the median, in this box and whisker plot? 20.5. 20 okay. Mr. Boda, what is Q3? Kevin, what is Q3? We said Q1 was 16, Q2 is 20.5, Q3 is? Q3 is 23. Yes. Are there five answers picked here, Kevin? Yes. So hit submit. The only thing you're responsible for is turning in your notes, folks. Are we clear? We will be doing this again tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. Please proceed back to the main room and perfect those notes by making sure the screenshots that Abigail and Liana put are in your document. Are we clear, David? David, we're gonna screenshot the graph in our paper, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the main session. You'll work on that and I ready for the next 12 minutes, folks.